be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. Listen, if you're brand new, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, what we're going to be doing is going over how to make a Lex Luger type beat in Logic Pro 10. So let's go ahead and jump in. First thing I want to start with is melody. Um, and one good way to start with melody, at least with a Lex Luger type beat, is maybe a little bit of horns or brass. Okay, so let's just see what we got here. Um, if you don't have Omnisphere, that's cool. You can also use some of the stock sounds and throw some effects on them. But um, I'm going to go ahead and use this Omnisphere plugin. There's a, you know, preset bank by um, Superstar O. We're going to go ahead and go to the brass and let's just see what we So what I'm going to do here is I'm using a MIDI keyboard. I'm going to go ahead and just pull this musical typing up. All I did is push Command K. And let's just see if we can come up with something hard with this. All right, so we'll start off with something like that. I'm just kind of freestyle that literally just playing around. Let's just see if we can work with this. Alright, so that's that that tempo's way too fast for me. Let's turn this down to like, yeah, about 82. So that's 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 good enough to just get something started. I'm gonna go ahead and quantize this. We'll do it with a little bit of a swing. I'm gonna erase this, and then what I'm gonna do is come over here like so. So now what I'm going to do is we can just find like either find a uh, like a even stronger brass than this or we can actually, um, you know, what I'm saying, yeah, we'll have to sample like a, a brass sound. I think I have one that could work here. Let me just see if any of these will sound good. Yeah, so if you don't already have a sound saved in here that you, you know, found somewhere, you can just go to like splice or even come up in here to your loops, you know what I'm saying, and just type in brass. And you can get like. You know, you say you can, you can take, take one of those and drag it in. But anyway, let's keep on going here. So we'll, we'll start off with something simple like that. All right, cool. Go ahead and quantize that as well. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. Cool. So we got some good, like, um, you know, body to this. Now let's go ahead and add a little bit of extra, like, um, there's some light to it as well. Um, I'm going to use, let's see what this Infinity Fame has. Um, it's a plugin by Superstar O. Infinity Fame plugin is pretty dope. But let me see what they got here. I think this is a flu. Oh, 
So we're just gonna come up with like a something like something light on top of that. We can just go ahead and name this stuff as well, so we don't get um, lost in the mix here. So we'll just say brass, uh, or we can say horn. And then this is more of a brass. And there we go. So let's let's listen to it. Let's see what we know what we else we can add to this melody. He kind of don't like the way I ended that, but we'll, we'll we can play around with this. I'm just gonna cut this like this, and to see if it sound better, just repeat. All right, we're gonna leave it how we did it before. Let's keep it moving, man. Um, I want to bring in another sound. And I think I'm actually gonna just start with a default patch. Um, let's go to like the synthesizers. We can go over here really to these leads. Yeah, so we need something kind of like, imagine a haunted house type vibe. Yeah, let's kind of bring some type of haunted house sound to it. So it's pretty pretty dope melody. Let's go ahead and save this. And I'm just gonna say Licks, Luger. And um, now let's go ahead and keep on building this now. But um, we can do certain things like so.
a little little freebie tip right there, man. Listen, if you have problems trying to make melodies, slow the tempo down, right? I'm not gonna say you have problems, but you know, if your fingers aren't super fast where you can come up with melodies super fast, like with a super high, uh, fast tempo, just turn the tempo down, you know what I'm saying? To a slower speed, and then you can, like if you like to just play on the piano, because obviously you see in this tutorial so far, I didn't really use the piano roll yet. Let's go ahead and start though, uh, working on the drums since this is a video on the quickest way to make a Lex Luger type beat. Um, let's go ahead and come over here now to this quick sampler. We're gonna go ahead and create a stereo track, create, and um, actually the cool thing about this Lex Luger type beat tutorial is you can go on Splice and I actually have a whole Lex Luger uh, sample pack. So literally I can come over here and he has like most of his, you know, sounds that he would use. So we're gonna come in here, we'll start with a clap, bring that in just like that. And um, if you've been following my videos, you know the quickest way to lay down a clap pattern in Logic Pro 10 is using this step sequencer and this right here. And now literally our clap is ready to go. So obviously you're gonna need some a snare for sure. For sure, for sure. Um, let me go ahead and pull that up. Boom. Let's see if we already have a snare downloaded. If we don't, it's all good. I can just literally come over here and click on snares. And I'm actually gonna play this instead of drawing it in. Sometimes it's easier just to play it and then quantize it. So we got the clap, we got a snare too. By the way, if you want uh, whatever you name here to also be named in the workspace window, all you do is name it right here and then highlight right here and then put shift, option, and in. Shift, option, and the letter in. And it's gonna move that over there and there you go. Okay, so let's keep on going. Let's work on these hi-hats now. Um, I know they got some hard hi-hats in that. Hack. Let's see here. Let's do a hat. Okay, I think I put this um, under that snare. Yup. Messed up. All right, let's keep it going. It's all good. Um, okay. Everybody messes up sometimes. This is all good. We're going to keep it going. I'm not going to pause it or nothing like that. All right, cool. So we're going to close this one down. Make sure we're on the right track. Then open it. Then drag it in. Okay. Boom. We only just like do a simple, um, consistent hi hat pattern with this particular sound, and I'm gonna layer it with another sound.
He's a little bit too loud. Same thing with this one. Let's So now for our second hi-hat pattern, um, this hi-hat pattern, I want to do a whole lot of more syncopation with it. Um, you know, the syncopated hi-hat patterns you hear here mostly in trap music. So that's what we're going to be doing on this one. We'll do hats. Let's see what they got. Okay, we'll just go with this simple one. Boom. Let's do it like this. And in this world, we'll actually, we can use like either the step sequencer or we can do the piano roll. Just to make this video quick, I'm gonna use the step sequencer. That's not going to be the best way to sync a page your hi-hats. You can just kind of literally draw it in first, and then you can come over here to note, um, not note, but um, note repeat. If you click on the bottom of the, of the note here, and then the farther you move up, the more detailed the pattern gets. So we can do like three. That's actually going to be simpler if you just do it like that, and then you can just add a little note repeat here and there. Another thing you can do is um, push the notes up or down some. completely random and um yeah i think we're all that's all we're really gonna do to this part let's just see what we came up with pretty busy honestly um, as far as that hi-hat pattern but it's also pretty nice so let's just keep it going just to go ahead and finish the beat I'm gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna do now a kick all right so I'm gonna take this make sure we're on the right track um, I'm gonna go ahead and go back over here to this Lex Luger kit and we'll go ahead and push push kick all right Let's see how that sounds with it. We're gonna keep this kick pattern simple. We might have to change those hi hats up for sure. But let's just let's just keep on going.
we're gonna keep it simple for right now. Um, let's go ahead and start see what we can do as far as an 808. Boom, let's get that. Let's go ahead and come over here. And now we're just gonna type in 808. One thing I say about his kit, it doesn't sound like he regurgitated a bunch of sounds. There's a lot of producers out here that will take these other producers' kits and then try to just tweak them up. His sounds are really original. So like, even if he did take some sounds and start with sounds, and you know, he took the time you kind of can see to modify it enough to where it's really like an original kit. So let's go ahead and make this uh, this 808 pattern here. See that 808 is not really working well with this beat like I wanted it to, so I kind of just need something simple. I really need something simple. by Bricks the Main.
this up. tip sometimes when you're making beats you know you might uh, listen to it and you're like man I don't know if this is turning out you know what I'm saying the way it should just relax take a deep breath and then just find out what the problem is you know what I'm saying don't scratch the whole beat just find out what the problem is and then you can you know keep on going
I kind of need a 808 that's gonna really punch through here super hard. Um, matter of fact, you know what? I got a I got a no, nice 808. We gonna go back to this uh, industry kiss infinity fame. The first sound that comes up is a hard 808. Start with this, man. This this might be the better 808 pattern.
grab this one. So we're gonna actually keep on working with these kicks and see if we can find something different. Um, I know Brixton Main has some pretty dope kicks. Um, so we're gonna see what's up in that. Um, Just holding down option after I grab these and let it go after I make that copy.
so it's starting to sound a little bit more <clears throat> coming together a little bit more um sound a little bit more like you know lex luger might made it you know what i'm saying so let's keep it going man uh, one thing i can say we probably should add is some open hi-hats just to make this uh you know even better let's let's spell open right though Come on. Anyway, y'all, that's how uh, to make a lecture group type beat in Logic Pro 10. Um, if you want to see like me finish the beat, you know, stay tuned. Obviously, the beat does need to be mixed. Um, it also needs to be um, arranged into song format. I do want to point out, you know, honestly, you know, there's a lot of producers out there that can cook up beats super, super fast. Um, you know, I used to be one of them. You know, what I mean, I make a beat in five minutes. Matter of fact, I can make beats in five minutes. But the thing about it is, you know, what what's our real goal? To be able to make beats super fast or to be able to make some type of masterpiece that someone could get on and make a hit with. And that's the, really the mindset behind this. I kind of take my time with uh, the music, take, I'm taking my time with the sound selection. Um, and I'm going to continue to do that as well. You know what I'm saying? Uh, make sure that you check out my courses on my site, beatmakingbasics.com. We also have some loot packs you can grab, um, things of that nature. But, um, you know, without further ado, man, I appreciate y'all watching. 
I'm gonna see you in the next video. If y'all need one-on-one -on -one Logic Pro 10 training, maybe you're brand new and you're just kind of like curious, hey man, you know, it really would help if I had somebody to kind of walk me through certain things or maybe even open up my, my, my software program and we can like, look over one of my beats and see what I'm doing wrong. Hey, go ahead and click in the description below. I have, like I said, all the courses are there, all the um, loop packs are there, but I also have a one-on-one -on -one service that you can grab and, you know, we can talk live and, you know, deliberate on what you need to do to, you know, become better at using Logic Pro 10 to make your beats. Anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. We're out.